stories and the things that are on it have nothing to do with skateboarding, you know? I've sold them to random ass people that know nothing about skateboarding that just thought it was a neat looking thing. Part of it is uh, pretty sacred and at the same time part of it's just like recycling a piece of wood and putting a character on it and finding it a new home. Even though the object of a skateboard, used and ridden, can be cherished, the wood itself is still just that, wood. And some people find use in the utilitarian value of the wood to extend the life of a skateboard. Well, I started working in a skate shop uh, in Boise, Idaho. The very first piece that I made was an exchange for uh, a small you know, closet full of skateboard decks. Uh, so this bench was actually one of the first pieces that I made uh, just out of necessity at the time. When it snapped, usually it just becomes waste, so I guess it is a way of sort of preserving it. Um, you know, I don't paint over any of the skateboards, I don't try and cover anything up. I want people to be able to look at it, to be able to see how each deck was used. But a skateboard really isn't all that expensive, um, so it's a lot more disposable to people. But, uh, you know, if you have any sort of progression in skateboarding or any sort of advancement, then, you know, it should be something that is really important to you or that, you know, you want to work with, keep around. Um, but a lot of it's also just a way to make the skateboard usable again, to keep it around for a while and, and have people still be able to enjoy it. And, you know, even people that don't skateboard, um, one of the pieces is in a grocery store. Uh, they have all this nice furniture that's surrounding it, and then there's this armchair that's out of skateboards and in a really you know pretty high-end community pretty wealthy community um, where skateboarding is totally frowned upon in all the streets all the way around it and suddenly here's this piece and so it's you know bringing attention to skateboarding that way I've always thought of uh, you break a skateboard and it's it's dead it's no good you know if it's cracked it's dangerous if it's snapped it's totally shot um, and I think that there are a lot of people, uh, people that are painting on skateboards or making the furniture, that it um, is sort of an extension of that, of that lifespan. Skateboarders are very creative people in general because that's part of the attraction to it. I can do what I want, you know. I don't have to be good, I just have to have fun. I think it's just like, you are skating, but it somehow can, it, at least for me, has connected me to something way more. It influences every, everything, the way I think about life, my, my uh, tendency to want to be completely independent from everything. It definitely gave me a lot of confidence that I, may, I might not have had otherwise to, to go and sort of try things and sort of, you know, in other areas of life to sort of figure that if I really sort of put my mind to something, I could actually do it. And I don't know that I would have thought that otherwise. This simple piece of wood transcends borders, redefines the boundaries of the world we live in, and generates memories that will live on long after the material decomposes. But in the end, the skateboard provides most of all an anchor for friends to gather around in the quest for good times. This is